YouTubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Beer the Master of Hobbits. Today, joined by Jakob Wolkemoltz. Today, looking at a macro beer, a leftover beer from the bottles here, actually. Yeah. This is from Carlsberg, and this is an interesting one. This is the uh, Gamli Karlsberg Porter Imperial Stout. It says canned at the brewery. Now, this is actually made, I believe, at uh, the Carlsberg Visitor Center Brewery, where they also do the Semper Arten and Carl's line Jakobsen. and Jakobsen as well. I think Carl, the Carl's line is brewed there as well. I'm not entirely sure, but this is a really, really old beer. They, uh, it's from 1865. That was when it was put on sale or was for sale, and it was uh, um, a beer that a porter that replaced the new or new Carlsberg porter, which was a uh, uh, an ale, and this being a Baltic style porter, so it's got lager yeast in here. The recipe is exactly the same as back in the day, and uh, yeah, it's an 8.2% brewed with water, barley malts, hops, and yeast. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of interesting. But they've changed this label here; hasn't been used, and this name since 2003. 2003, they changed the name back to Carl's Porter, uh, but for some reason, they decided to go back to the roots. Yeah. Uh, maybe What's there's a hipster factor in this one. Like yeah, that. maybe, maybe. <laughs> but Carlsberg gets a lot of shit for being a big macro brewery, but actually they held the porter tradition alive in Europe, especially in Denmark, throughout the, the, the centuries after like uh, lagers and lager yeasts and everything started to get a big breakthrough. They still kept brewing porters to keep their tradition alive. So in that sense, they did a good thing. Now I've heard this should be good. And we were kind of drunk when we had this. I don't really remember how it was, but uh, yeah, let's let's dig into it and see how it is. So we got the Gamble Carlsberg Porter Pour Imperial Stout or Carl's Porter Baltic Porter. It is actually pretty damn black. Yeah, fish white. A nice tan looking head on there. Let's take out the aroma. It smells like a Baltic Porter. Yeah. It it smells. Like a traditional authentic Baltic porter, it actually has some reminiscent aromas of Bliefjord's porter. Yeah, it, it's just missing out some of the smoke and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and also a small amount of, but it, it's there's more emphasis on the chocolate in this and the aroma. And yeah, and also spice. I'm getting like uh, um, cloves, anise, anise. anise. Yeah, some spicy licorice kind of aroma, and it's got some bread in it. It's almost like a hefty rye bread or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Agree. Caramel and toffee, a little bit of diacetyl, just a little, but if it's yeah, yeah, not too much. Dark fruits as well. Yeah, it actually smells pretty good. Yeah, it's good to taste. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, this is much better than like you'd think for a big <laughs> macro beer. This is actually pretty tasty. Um, the mouthfeel. It's it's not the biggest. No, but so it's a lighter side of medium. Yeah, a little bit of that kind of buttery sensation, but I'm actually not picking up much of it. No, I'm mostly picking up anise, a lot of licorice, black licorice kind of notes, coffee, dark chocolate, creamy kind of yeah. to it as well. Yeah, I, I agree. Some dark fruit notes in there as well, and it has some flavors that are reminiscent of uh, Vitur. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. Sweet. Yeah, sweet breadiness. breadiness. Yeah. Caramel flavors up front, kind mm -hmm. of like there's a lot of unfermented sugar. Yeah, yeah, because it has like a slight sugary flavor. Yeah, but I, I, I don't think it's. It's just I don't really remember. I've had the car regular Carl's Porter a lot of times. I don't know why. I don't. I don't just feel like these feel that similar. I don't know why. I don't know. But it's been a long time since I've had the Carl's Porter. You have had that too, I'm sure. Yeah, sometimes. it's in the yeah the yeah, glass bottle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Glass bottles and yeah. whatever, but this is really nice Baltic type of porter. I mean, yeah. if Carlsberg just kept brewing stuff like this all the time, yeah, that'd be awesome. But and I, I also like it's kind of like a little historic gem almost. Yeah, exactly. and so yeah, I mean Carlsberg can brew some good beer, guys. It's not well the the brew technically the yeah, really yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Well, well most of the brew brewers, brewers are, are yeah. technically pretty yeah. good. Yeah. So yeah, I think. It's Pretty nice. Uh, fits the bill for a Baltic Porter for sure. Yeah, I, 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 there isn't really anything in here I can put. It's not boring. Per no, se. no, not boring at all either. 
easy drinking and you don't taste the 8.2% at all. Well, rating wise, I'm gonna go 85. I do really enjoy this. It's there's nothing much going on per se. Yeah, well, actually, there is. There's there all is. these nuances and all, but it's not blowing anyone. I hope it won't blow anyone's mind. Oh, well, some. I don't know. Just, Whatever, but it's, it's, it's cool, a cool, cool little historic beer. Yeah, yeah well. and it's just because the recipe hasn't changed since 1800. Apparently, it hasn't changed. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. I enjoyed 85, drinkable, you know, tasty 8.2. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go 83. I think it's really good as well. Um, the Danish Baltic Porters, this is one of them. Then we also have the Vipro Porter Imperial Stout. And the Sista Liebfjord's bought a double brown stout. Not the best part in the world, but I mean, for what it is and for the price, this is really good. So, yeah, guys, definitely let us know what you think of the Gamli Karsberg Porter Imperial Stout or Carl's Porter if you've had it. Um, yeah, as always, remember to come subscribe to the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We're going to say cheers. Cheers. We're going to see you guys in the video.